Hey, it's Matt here with our Tips and Tricks series, and this is the series where I talk about the latest and greatest in Mage, uh, ways you can make the most of your data pipelines and make them magical, in a sense. Um, and today I have a little special uh, special treat for y'all. This is more of a data engineering tidbit, uh, less about Mage. You can do this in, in any tool, as a matter of fact. Um, and that is how to write partitioned Parquet files to a cloud storage provider of your choice. Um, in a very simple way. Uh, a lot of times, if you're trying to write this logic yourself, it can look a lot like a for loop with chunking logic and some weird kind of gnarly stuff. Um, and that's why it's a really good idea to use uh, libraries and pre-built assets to, to make this sort of thing easier. Um, so in this pipeline, I'm pulling in some weather data uh, and then I'm transforming it a bit and writing it to Google Cloud Storage. Um, and so the weather data looks like this, it has a date, um, some like miscellaneous facts about the highs and lows, uh, as well as the latitude and a location. Um, you can see here we're pulling in data for Santa Cruz, California. Um, and so using PyArrow, uh, specifically the PyArrow library, as well as um, the Parquet um, modules, uh, it's actually really easy to write to uh, cloud storage. And so all we need to do is define a table, and that sort of initializes um, our table from a pandas data frame. So we don't have to specify typing or anything like that that's handled by pandas. Um, and then a file system. So we're using Google Cloud Storage. Um, and that's pretty much it. So passing in our data frame, we're going to write this data to our data set um, by specifying a root path, which is just uh, the name of our bucket and the name of our table, which looks like a folder. Of course, the concept of folders in Cloud Storage is like kind of weird. So I won't delve too deep, deep into that. Um, but then really all we need to do is pass in our file system and the dates or the columns that we want to partition on. And so if you're new to data engineering, you might be saying, Matt, why do I need to partition my data in the first place? Well, breaking your data up um, by commonly queried fields is actually a really great way to improve efficiency, right? So if I knew analysts are frequently querying this data by this um, reading date, the date of the, the weather forecast, um, well, if I'm splitting the data up into smaller files that are stored that way, well then uh, when the qu query planner goes to um, fetch these, these files that maybe live in an external table somewhere, it can say, oh, I only need um, these four dates. Instead of fetching the entire list of the directory, it's only going to fetch some subset of, of, um, of files. And this is why partitioning is really powerful. Basically, it's an easy way to pick up super big efficiency gains. Um, and so running this uh, is going to split this data up by different dates and then write those dates to a different file in Google Cloud Storage. And I'll show you what that looks like. So um, reading date, which is the date when uh, our, um, our forecast was read, uh, each reading date has a different folder. And then within that folder, um, we have a Parquet file uh, with the contents of readings for that date. Um, and so this is a really easy way to partition your data. It doesn't require chunking logic. It doesn't require a for loop. You don't have to do any sort of authentication weirdness using, uh, you know, custom libraries. Um, really to do this, you just need a service account key for Google Cloud because that's how Google Cloud works. You pass that into an environment variable um, and then you can initialize a file system and drop your table in. So. I'm Matt with Mage. This is a super easy way to uh, partition data sets and write them to cloud storage if you're a data engineer and you're into that sort of thing. Um, I highly recommend you check it out. There are a number of ways to do this. This is my favorite. Until next time, peace.